guys, welcome to episode 5 of the FC Kern career mode here on FIFA 20. We start with the game against the team that are next to us in the table. It's Fortuna Dusseldorf, who are sat in 12th as we are in 11th. Both locked on 10 points at this stage of the season. We follow that up with a simmed game at home against Hoffenheim, who are in the relegation zone. Then Leipzig away, who are at the top of the table. And then Augsburg, who are bottom of the table. So it's a mixture of fixtures today. Hoffenheim only got the one win so far, but to be fair, I only have the two. So I'm not exactly excelling. We just haven't been losing as much as they have. Getting a few draws more so than anything else at this present moment in time. Augsburg bottom, as we mentioned. And Leipzig up in fourth, but only a handful of points away from sort of two, or two from second. And Dortmund at the minute are uh, creating quite the gap. Although it's actually Bayern and Leipzig that are unbeaten so far this season. So anything could happen in today's episode. And knowing my career modes, it probably will. We'll start with Dusseldorf away. This would be a big three points if we can get it. Hopefully we can do so. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the uh, notification turned on. So that you uh, are able to get notified every single time a video goes live. But without any further ado, let's go and play Fortuna Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf starting 11. Zach Steffen in goal for them. Contento, Ian Adams, Nuhu and Zimmerman at the back. Fink and Sabotka holding. Then with three of Pledel, Stuger and Karaman. With Kwame up top. A lot of pace in that starting lineup. Now this is a local rivalry. Dusseldorf and Cologne are right next to each other in Germany. So with the realism mod, supposedly derby and rivalry games are more difficult. We did play Bruce Mucci and Gladbach earlier on in the season, which is uh, a derby game as well. And we did get battered. So we'll wait and see if this one is just as difficult. Obviously, uh, Dusseldorf aren't as strong a test on paper as uh, Bruce and Richard Gladbach were, but we did get hammered by <laughs> Richard Gladbach. I'm certainly hoping to avoid that here against Dusseldorf, but this will be a test as to uh, whether derby games are actually more difficult. We'll wait and see. Schau. Around the corner there to Skiri. Here's Cordoba. Oh, he's rolled the defender really well. Cordoba in the box. Zach Steffen with a good save. On his left foot there, Cordoba. Not his best side. That's a decent delivery. Jorge Mero could have been up, but Kwame gets to it. Schindler will recover that. And we'll get it back into a central area. Now oh, then, Schaub. Ah. Every man behind the ball for Dusseldorf. And I'm not going to be able to pick my way through that. So that's for sure. Hopefully they get a little bit more adventurous as the game goes on. Otherwise, we really might have... A hell of a time trying to get through against them. Nicely in there to Stoger. That's Karaman. Zimmerman all the overlap. Inside to Stoger again. The three of them linking up nicely. But Cozziello steps in. He's done really nicely there. We'll look to break away. I'll use Shao first. Run. Mr. Cordoba. Through the gap. Trying to use his pace. Oh, strong shot on his right foot this time rather than his left. But Stefan... Equal to it again, as he has been with everything we've thrown his way so far. Cordoba's up! It was Schindler, in fact, with the header. And well wide of the target, unfortunately. Hector forward there to Kainz. Inside to Cozziello. Bit of space here for Isabue. Ahizibue, apparently, is how Derek Ray pronounced it. I'm just still to call him Isabue. Cozziello to Schaub, who is left-footed. Didn't really have the angle for that one, though. Worth an attempt, but we'll have to do better. Dominant, though, in this game so far with the chance creation. Keep that going, please, lads. Skiri across to Cozziello. Space there for Schaub. We'll use the winger first. Kainz quickly to Cordoba. Into Schaub. I do want to get it on his left foot if I can. Or maybe Cordoba on his right. Zach Steffen is keeping everything out so far today. Well up there, Ezebue. Fledl does well to keep possession for Dusseldorf, but they've been second best so far. It's been all one-way action in this first half, and I'll look for Kainz here on his turn brilliantly. Florian Kainz! Finally, at last, the lead in the derby. FC Kern 1, Dusseldorf 0, and that goal has been coming. This is probably the first time all season we've actually dominated a game. Specifically, by creating a number of chances, which I don't normally tend to do. I'm not that creative, but that's at least the fourth. 
Cordoba's had three. But Zach Steffen has been on form. Thankfully, on this occasion, we've powered it past him. We're in front. I think. Forward there into Sturger. Cross to Karaman. Oh, good footwork from him. Sabotka. Karaman again. He's got options. He's probably going to have to go backwards, which he's done to Sabotka. And here's Kwame. Early shot. Timo Horn saves. That'll be a corner. Their first time testing the goalkeeper. And actually, that's Kwame's final action. He's going off now. New striker on for them. It's Borja Bastone. Decent delivery. Bastone, obviously, the former Swansea striker. Pledel here. Bit of footwork. Nice block by Ezebue. Skiri gets it out of his feet, but can't find Florian Kainz. Adams Nuhu will push forward. Karaman, Nuhu again. I don't think he's got that good a crossing stat. Sabot cut. Nice block by Jonas Hector. And hoofed away. Living to fight another day defensively. They're dominating this second half the way we dominated the first. We are determined, determined to keep this clean sheet. You can see there, top left, they've had 54% possession, but only created that one shot so far. I think trying to create an opportunity for perhaps the second opportunity on goal for Dusseldorf. But Jorge Mera heads that away as well. Standing firm so far. Ihan out to Contento. Starting to commit a lot more bodies forward now, Dusseldorf. If I can catch them on the counter, we could finish them off. But we have to ensure we don't concede whilst they're pushing those bodies forward. Cozzielo gets a muscle by Sabotka. Wolfsburg have equalised against Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund might be dropping more points. Very rare that they've done that so far this season. Cordoba. Look over the top for the run of Schindler and we'll find him. He should have the legs on Fink. And does, but no one to aim for yet. Everyone's tightly marked by an opposition player. Skiri returns. Cozzielo. There's Florian Kainz. Oh, I tried to just drop the shoulder on Zimmerman. Uh, wasn't able to do so. 12 minutes to be played here. Or by Stone. Thankfully, he's not very fast. Otherwise, he could have just accelerated away there. <sighs> 10 minutes to go. Come on, lads. Let's get a win in the derby, shall we? It's been a while since we've won a game. In fact, we haven't won a game since the opening month of the Bundesliga season. I don't think we've won since August. So we beat Freiburg in a simulated game. And I... I believe we won the opening game of the season, didn't we? So, oh, get to that, please. Yes, Schaub. We'll look for Kainz again. We'll drill it in. Oh, looking for Cordoba. Oh, I'm so nervous now. I'm desperate to get three points. A, because it's a derby. B, because we haven't won for so long. And C, because it's so tight in the league that just one or two wins back to back could send us flying up the table. I think through the gap, looking for Pledel. Into the middle and away by Jorge Mera again. We are having to stand very firm right now. I'm not taking any risks. Anywhere will do with any and every clearance. Get to that first. Sturger does. Zimmerman to him again. Round the gap to ball up our stone. Here's Karaman. This is the danger moment. Do not foul him and give away a penalty. Into the middle. Away by Anton. Oh, no final whistle yet. There is time. There is time for this corner. Pledel. Contento for Gieselman. I made a couple of changes as well. My changes were made a long time ago. But the ball just didn't go out of play. Oh, victory! It's been a long time coming. But if you are going to finally win a game, you might as well do it away from home against a local rival. Thank you very much indeed. They dominated the ball. We created the chances and crucially scored the goal. Dortmund, in fact, did turn it around against Wolfsburg and were able to win. And that victory for us has shot us up to eighth. Still a little way away from the uh, European spots. But great to get another win on the board for the first time in three months. Absolutely thrilled with that. Anthony Modeste is disappointed not to have played. Understandably so. Right, up next for us, we have that, simu oh, that simulated game against Hoffenheim in just a week's time. I might throw Anthony Modeste into the starting lineup for that. Hitabue is uh, getting better with regards to his tackling, which is good. Hopefully, we'll see some more growth throughout the squad over the course of the season. The board are happy with me so far. 84 manager rating. Uh, squad rotation is important, is all I'll say to him. And the Kern board are uh, unhappy. We haven't yet signed a youth player or haven't done the uh, youth uh, objective, is what I'm looking for. Right, I'm going to. 
I'm going to rotate out Cordova. We might drop some places with games in hand. No, we haven't. Other teams have dropped points. Great. Cordova out for Modesta. Drex is still carrying that knock and won't be fit for another couple of in-game weeks. Players leaving on international duty soon. It's just Jonas Hector for Germany. That's fine then. Right. Simulate Hoffenheim at home. Well, they're down the bottom. Although they have just beaten Paderborn and Hertha Berlin. So their form might be turning. Equally ours with our victory. Cardia has scored though. The former Brighton man. Don't tell me we're going to lose to a side down the bottom half. Anthony Modesta with a penalty. Just before half time. Summer second with a red card. Shell picks up a knock and has to come off. That doesn't fill me with confidence. And then they take a 2-1 lead through Christopher Ayer. Then they have an injury. A defeat to Hoffenheim. That's infuriating. After Potentially to... Well, Hoffenheim are turning their form around. Look. Ah, ah. So annoying. Augsburg down in 17th. Certainly want to get a victory against them. But Leipzig are in second and still unbeaten so far this season. And we play them next. Schaub is only out for nine days, thankfully. And there is an international break now. He'll be back fit, ready for that game. And I'll be raring to get another set of three points. Leipzig starting lineup then. Galaski or Lexi in goal. Halstenberg, Orban, Michiele at the back. Demmer and Lima holding in midfield. Forsberg, Kampelen and Kunku push further forward. And Patrick Schick up top at striker was Klosterman at right back. They are the best side defensively in the entire league. Doesn't bode well for me being one of the lowest scoring sides in the entire league. Ugh, I'm probably going to lose this. <laughs> Forsberg. Big switch across, looking for Klosterman and finds him well. In there to Nkunku. Trying to just force him wide here and we're doing that well. A nice tackle by the defender but it still falls to Klosterman who finds a cross. We'll get rid of that with Ezebue. And Schindler will just... Oh, I'm not going to try and race around the outside of him. That's a nice turn by Schaub. Just been called up to the Austrian international squad in real life, Schaub. In good form for me in this save as well. Although wasn't called up the Austrian international side in this save in that last international break. Vestrata earned himself a start here after his good performance Good performance in the cup. I intended to start him in the last game and quite frankly just forgot. But he's in this time around and hopefully he can have a good impact for us. Sides just feeling each other out in the opening 22 minutes or so. No real... Clear-cut chances on goal for either team, although they might be getting one here. Postman's pass is picked off by Anton, and Kotsiello will look around the corner there for Schell, but will try and create again. Either side really able to break the other down thus far. I'm not surprised that I'm not able to break them down. Best defensive record in the league. I am surprised that they haven't broken me down, because I've got one of the worst defensive records in the league. So far, we're standing solid. Schaub down the line there to Ezebue. And with that 95 sprint speed, we might be in for a good opportunity on goal here. Drill it into the middle. Find Kainz. Good save by Galaxy. Nkunku driving into the middle. Campbell finds the ball there to Patrick Schick. Or oh, looking for Nkunku through the gap, but not able to find a teammate. Schaub showing good physicality there. And this is a good counter-attacking opportunity if Mukiele hadn't bumped Cordova off the ball there. Limer expected that turn, but still couldn't adjust with my... Defender quickly enough, and that was good footwork from their attacker in the middle there to try and turn me too. Shall cross here to Ezebue, the right back, having to push forward. Schindler now getting in behind. They've had almost 65% possession in this game, Leipzig, so far. But they haven't had a single shot on goal. We've had that one chance, and it's been a real null and void game to this point. Nothing doing. They have a great defensive record, but that's pointless if you're not going to go and score at the other end or even try and score at the other end. So far, they're just keeping possession, doing dick all with it. Second 45 on the way. Right there to Demmer. They're doing it again. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, 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 pass. Nothing to show for it. Until maybe now. Halstenberg. No, good block. Pass, 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 pass. <laughs> Nothing to show for it. Cotsiello will look for the ball over the top for Florian Kainz. 
who doesn't or well, does come off better against Klosterman. Schaub looking for the ball through. Called by any strides. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Strong right arm from Galaxy there to ensure that we don't take the lead because that was travelling from John Cordoba. A lot of power behind that. Not necessarily much accuracy, but still. Oh, man. Thought that was going to be 1 0 there. Almost at the hour mark now. Still yet to have a shot on goal. Rassen Sport Leipzig. What are you doing, lads? Sort your lives out. You're a football team. And Kunku, good strength to hold off the man. Lima. Cozzielo dives in well. Spin him. Yes, Schaub. Lovely turn. Oh, space on this near side for Schindler. I just noticed it. And they've gone walkabouts at the back. Schindler's in. Schindler! Goal! FC Kern! For all of their possession, nothing to show for it. And a goal for the visitors. They're undefeated so far, Leipzig. Maybe not for much longer. Banging that into the back of the net. Schindler with what might actually be his first goal of the season. I'm not sure. It's, I think it's the first goal I've scored with him this season. Let's have a look. Yes, first goal of the Bundesliga season. And it could be a massive one. The shell goes off and Bodu comes on. Hastenberg. Inside there to Demmer. Campbell with the 1-2. Here's Forsberg as Ibue steps in. We're getting a little bit lucky with some of these passes, but Drexel will get that through to Kainz. And have they opened up at the back again? Florian Kainz got a goal for us in a, mo in a recent game. It's before it's to Bodu, who finds Drexler, who just waited an age for the ball to get to him. I've committed to the shot, and he, he almost ran around the ball to make the angle for himself worse. That was odd. Marcel Sabitzer on in the last minute for them. That surely should have been 2 0 as I kept playing the ball across. I was like, we're just making our chances of scoring this higher and higher and higher. <laughs> and then the man at the back post seemed rather uninterested in the ball. And the final whistle surely has to go soon and does. Victory against a side that hadn't yet lost. We're turning into quite. An effective team in today's episode, at least. I can't believe Drexler missed that. 38% possession, uh, possession only. But all the chances. Bayern batter Dusseldorf. Richard Gladbach batter Union Berlin. We're ninth currently, but continuing to get positive results means that we'll close up. Uh, I expect more from Anthony Modesta, certainly. And... Uh, I expect more from him too, especially after that last minute terrible effort. We have one final game this month. But the youngsters are all growing. Which is, oh, I keep doing that. The youngsters are all growing, which is absolutely fantastic. And hopefully, with a good second drill there, Bornell might go closer to 72 rated and has gone a long way in doing so, thankfully. Right, let's keep the positivity going, shall we? And end with another win. This time against Salzburg, who are right down the bottom of the table. Have they won yet? They have got one win. It's Paderborn that are yet to get the victory. Six points only for Augsburg, though. Hoffenheim faltering again. Despite beating me, bastards. Right. Oh, let's go, aren't they? Let's see what we got from the Netherlands. Uh, that's a no. That is a... I'm going to say no. I only want the best of the best, really. We'll give you another month. That's a no. And that's a certain no. We'll give Dan back up another month. And then in Germany, 64 to 94 if you've got... Okay, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. That's certainly a no. Uh, whoa! Lewis Schwartz, 17 years of age. 61 to 93 potential at 17 years of age. Is valued at 1.6 million. Sign. Please don't be a centre-back at 5 foot 9. 6 foot 1 here. Torben Weiss, a goalkeeper. I'll give you another month just to see where that uh, window narrows out. And we'll give you another month as well. That youngster, please don't be a centre-back. Please don't be a centre-back at that height. He's a CDM. Five foot nine as a CDM. Great for your kick accuracy and long passing and curve already. Short passing is at 67. 
We might have someone else to start training. His physicals aren't that good, though. That could be the death of him. 61 to 93 potential, though, at 17 years of age. No growth yet from Lucas De Witt, but 83 to 96 potential confirms that he's going to be truly world-class when he gets there. And a little bit of growth from Timo. 56 rated now, up from 55. With training, of course, 63 to 85 potential for him, but sprint speed is growing, which is good. Hopefully his technicals start to follow suit sooner rather than later. Oh, Louis Schwartz, if we can sort his physicals out, might turn out to be a wonderful talent. Right then, Augsburg, you're up next. Augsburg starting lineup, Kubek in goal for them. Four at the back again, including Philipp Max and St Stefan Lichsteiner at centre back. Vargas, Richter, Bayer, and Grozo with Cordova and Fimbo Arsen up top. Straight 4 4 2 for Augsburg. Two CDMs rather than two centimids. We'll see what they can do. Hopefully nothing, considering where they are in the league. Turns well. I'm trying out muscling here with Cots Yellow, but it's not the strongest, the young Frenchman. Oh. Sent. Timo Horn with a punch away and it finds a teammate. Thankfully, Schindler will look for a teammate of her own. And Anti Modesta holds man. Oh, that was strong from Lichsteiner. He won the ball. I have to say he won the ball, but it was a strong challenge. And the referee mm, not giving a card on this occasion. That was a very strong challenge, though. Modesta did well to hold him off initially, but there's not really much he could have done. But the second challenge, Modesta through the gap. Schaub on his left. Will certainly strike the ball better than that. Fimbo Arsen, Richter, back to Bayer, down the line nicely to Teigl. And into the middle, Cordova. Oh, anywhere will do for me clearance-wise. He was offside, apparently, the man in the middle there. But that was dangerous. Was he off? Oh, yeah, just. Just. But definitely the right call. Thankfully, Dussault was terrible anyway. But already, the side that are bottom, or second bottom, have created infinitely more than the side that were challenging up the top for the title in Leipzig. I genuinely do not understand their performance. That was a terrible pass, but Vargas steals it away from Schindler and will receive it back from Cordova. Can Vargas do anything for them here? Inside to Gruezo, nice one, two. Or Jimera chasing around the loose ball. Is that going to go out? It's not. Richter keeps it in, lays it back. Or throw a man in front of it. It's going to fall to Richter, who's onside. And we trail to Augsburg. Thought I'd done everything I needed to there when I got the sliding block on. Evidently not. Cross comes in, brings it down with a lazy bat, and I throw myself at it with Cots Yellow. <sighs> disappointed with that. Really disappointed with that. His first goal of the season, Richter and Augsburg have themselves a shock 1 0 lead. There's a Gruet. Into Schindler, who will keep that in. Modesta is there short. Bit of a heavy touch, but he's worked that well. Nice touch by Skiri. Here's Cots Yellow. Into Schaub. Now, can he shoot better this time? Fouled, maybe? No, nothing given by the referee. I'm going to head this out wide, looking for Ezebue, and we'll try and build again. Move it centrally again. Schaub. There's a gap there for Modesta, and Schaub's arriving, and we'll go to Modesta again. Anthony Modesta's in, and Kubek makes a stunning save. He's yet to score for me, Anthony Modesta. And that was his best opportunity yet in any play game. Schaub looking for him again. We'll get to that with uh, Kainz. Oh, but it's going to be half time. Nearly level there. But I've not been good enough in this one. Still, though, we've been better than Leipzig. <laughs> Anthony Modesta's just stood there behind loads of defenders. Oh, but he's turned well. Go on, Anthony. Bury this pal. Oh, show some strength. You're supposed to be super strong, Anthony Modesta. You've got like 86 strength. Where is it? Show me it. Physicals 80, 86 strength. That did not look like 86 strength to me. He just rolled over as the defender got near him. I need stronger from you. I need better from you. Cots yellow to Kites. He'll try from the edge of the box. Blocked well by a defender. Just knocked that down there with Anton. Not sure why he didn't use his feet. Never mind. Hector in there to Schaub. Oh, Bayer just ran off with it as far as I can make out. And now they're on the counter-attack. Gruezo, nice interception by Skiri. Somehow, Gruezo still comes away with it, despite the attentions of two Kern players. Drill it into Modesta. That's a nice turn. Now, arriving on the outside, actually arriving on this side, is Florian Kainz. Perhaps I should have gone all the way to Schindler on the right-hand side. Let's see, there's the overlap. We'll use it. It's a good run. Ezebue, back here to Skiri. 
Here's Florian Kainz. I'm running out of room. Cotsiello. I can't do it in this one. Struggling to break down Augsburg after battering Leipzig. You would imagine the results would have been the other way around if it ends up with us beating Leipzig and losing to Augsburg. But I guess as long as we get three points from both fixes, I can't really complain too much. Although after, oh, after beating Leipzig, I would have liked to have built on that by getting victory here. But at the present, we're just chasing a single point. Oh, I can't even just chasing the ball at the moment, let alone a single bloody point. Here's Cordova. Options on the outside. Vargas. Brings it down, drills it in, and away by Anton. I'm going to make some changes, I think. Should we go for the one-two maybe with Modesta? i tell you what, Anthony Modesta is not impressing me at all. I've been really, really annoyed with how poor he's been in almost every single game he's played for me this season. I've elected to give him a start on a couple of occasions recently, and he's just not taking the opportunity as best as he should be. I think... I hate to say it, but I think January might spell the end of Anthony Modesta at FC Kern. Cordoba's been the man scoring our goals, but we still haven't been scoring enough. And I need someone that is going to bang the ball into the back of the net on a frequent basis. And Modesta hasn't even banged the ball into the back of the net once for me yet. I've been getting more from my midfield players. Move the ball out nicely to Florian Kainz here, but I'm going to need support. I do have it in numbers. Here's Jonas Hector. Or look for Modesta. Is now your moment? No, it's not. Suki has had the better of him on every single occasion. Richter. Inside to Fimboasen. Teigl, he's got the runner. He might not need to use him because time is getting away from me here. Teigl into the middle. Away by Anton. And by the time I clear it forward, we're out of time. Surprise victory against Leipzig. Shock defeat against Augsburg. Such is the inconsistency of this FC Kern team. Certainly not good enough on this occasion. Really, really disappointed with our efforts in that game. Very disappointed. Anthony Modesta's time at the club might well be over. And after Leipzig created zero against me, they've won 6-0 in their next game. Okay really understand that 60 rated now Lewis Schwartz and 57 Timo Hasa really need his technicals to start to improve though otherwise we might have to concentrate our efforts elsewhere we'll give a quick train to Cotsiello I'm taking Anthony Modesta out the starting lineup and I genuinely might sell him in January I'm going to need your feedback on that but I'll show you my the stats just the stats in general. So, goal-wise, Cordoba has six. Modesta has two in eight. One in five in the Bundesliga. The other goal came in pre-season. Schaub has three for me. But I, I'm just, quite frankly, not scoring enough goals. We are not scoring anywhere near enough goals. I think Modesta, as well as if I can move on to Rodder as well, might be on their way out. And I think we're going to need a new striker in January. But I'm not sure if I'm going to have the finances to bring someone in. We are still inside the top half. Just, of course, 18 sides in the Bundesliga. Not 20 like the Premier League and other top divisions. So ninth is slap bang mid table on 16 points. Four wins, four draws, five defeats now with a goal difference of minus four. Not the best of performances. That win for Augsburg moves them up to 16th into the relegation playoff position on nine points. Well, he scored nine goals all season. They're yet to hit double figures. I've only scored 13, scoring on average one goal a game. That is not good enough. Not good enough at all. We shall wait and see what happens for the rest of the season. But right now, I'm not necessarily too happy with the way things are going. Improvements needed. New faces needed as well, I think. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Make sure you leave me all your feedback in the comment section down below. Thank you for your continued support on this new series. And I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.